Creating an elegant and beautiful wedding reception is not always such an easy task, but with a few simple tricks, you can delight your guests. Craft expert Gina Tepper is back with us. She's the founder of giftdecorating.com, and she's here today to show us how we can create a dream wedding with lots of unique decorations. Good to see you once again, Good to Gina. See you too. And we should mention that you make everything yes. yourself. Yes. And you like to use and recycle things too. I do. You can find. I didn't do as much with the wedding because it's a wedding, you know. So, mm -hmm. but lots of little touches, I think, in the wedding makes such a huge difference. People walk in and they're like, "Wow, look at that!" It's nice to so, personalize things. It is. Yes, that's what I'm doing. So what okay, I so want to show start you over here with the are, invitation. These right? are actually my wedding invitations, ah. which I made myself. But I don't expect everyone to do that. But if you already have your wedding invitations, what you can do is you can glue some ribbon on there and just tie your return card on there. Or what else you can do is just do a little wax seal. Oh, that's so, beautiful. And you can get that's mm -hmm. easy, and it's fun actually to do okay. that. Can we just take a look at these gorgeous? You made these yourself. I did. I now hand these have uh, gold. Yeah, writing and you I you did that as hand calligraphy. Hand, I'd never calligraphied before and I did it. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know, I just try things because I want to try it. How many so. of these did you make for 100. your wedding? I made a hundred. Wow. People and wouldn't send them back. They're like, I'm keeping the return <laughs> card. I want it intact. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so you saved a bundle then on the printing costs. Yeah, I did actually, and they they were really printed. That people really liked them. And of course, they it probably took you forever to make just one of them. Yeah, I did, but I did assembly lines, mm -hmm. so that's how you do it. And then you know, when you get your bridesmaids involved, you can get people to tie the wedding. Oh, return that's a good card. idea. Yeah, definitely Friends. lots of yeah, hands make short long. work right yeah. <laughs> well that's a great idea for the invitation this I did because at the wedding you're hoping you get lots of envelopes with money like right here so I thought hey why not a cute little mailbox so I actually turned this into that and you found this at the craft store yeah I did a and generic I, mailbox yeah, kind just, of thing it's yeah cardboard mm -hmm. I mean this actually I tried to give it the metal patina look and what I did is I actually painted it with like a gold metallic paint and then I just used a natural sponge and sponged it with black and some green and some just lighter colors and it gives this beautiful look. And then, beautiful. And then the where table. would you display this? Just near like wherever you, your presents, mm -hmm. your gifts and you would put it on there and just so people could say, oh, I have money, let me just put it so right So those are there. gifts too, yeah. absolutely. Now, now what's, is this a little favor that you would put on the table? I, I did, the I made these little favors because I don't really like the netting with the Jordan almonds. I don't think it's as classy as maybe something like this. Because what you could do is you could go, and this is how you can save money on your table arrangements. Buy a, a big piece of fabric, what I did and then I use the same fabric to make these cute little bags. Oh, so everything I'm matches. Sure. You yes, got a color scheme does. going on. And if you get one big yard and you get a 40% off coupon, then you can cut it. So let can me show you Can we try one of these? Yes. Okay, here's the baggie. Here's the bag. You've already painted it gold. I painted it gold. You can buy them gold, but I like that kind of uh, washed look. So you just cut a piece of fabric and I frayed it. So you could just glue that on. Okay. I used double oh, stick tape. Oh, you put double stick tape on it for us. Great. <laughs> Making it easy for me, Gina. I did that. And then, or you can use craft glue. See, you're good. See, look how fast you made that. But I'm bumped. <laughs> and then you stick this on and then you just, what I did is I used these upholstery <gasps> beads. Beautiful. And I put those on and you just attach that on the top. And then I also used tool. You can buy these spools of it and just cut some pieces and stick it in there instead of tissue. You can put whatever you want in there. But bling, right? I, I love know, that. Cute. And then People it matches the, yes. the center draping piece. Now Gorgeous. what I really like to now, do. Now what would you put in here along with your tool? I mean, some little... You could put nice candy. If you can mm -hmm. put candy, put nice candy. Or you can just put little, just little things that you want for your guests. Um, one thing I like to do here is wedding cameras. Like I made this one really pretty. <gasps> Because, but I know, Who thinks to decorate a camera? Come I know, on. I'm telling you, you are going to get the best pictures ever from these cameras. Everyone has their iPhone, but you don't get to keep those pictures. So have people take the pictures, because they have this. They're mm -hmm. going to take lots of pictures, and you're going to get like grandma dancing with the best man. You know what I mean? Oh, it's going to be fun stuff oh, that I you would that normally idea. That get. is a great idea, I mean, actually. Yes. You, you do. The you more people amazing. snapping pictures, yeah, the better. Yeah, put them on every mm -hmm. table, match it. Now, now what's this? this? It's like sand in a Yes. Lots of people get married on the beach. Oh, true. And you can actually have this you can do this as favors or you can do this just for the bride and groom I decorated this beautiful little vase just put gold and put some uh, shells on it and it's so just, you have your destination wedding you yeah. bring this with you probably yeah. empty and then you pick some sand up yeah. from the beach and there then and you say, have a piece, a piece of where you got married or your honeymoon so if you're going on there, you can have that forever. And even maybe you'll never go back to St. Lucia again, but you'll That's have right. a piece of St. Lucia. What a great you know? idea! So I, I love like that. This. Now favors. Okay. Big things with favor. Or um, I'm sorry, centerpieces. Centerpieces, right? You may want not want to spend a lot of money on the flowers. So what you could do is buy these candle arbors, or this is for maybe the bridal table. But you can have candlesticks and just a few flowers you fit in there, and then you have this beautiful 
piece, but you can go to like discount stores mm -hmm. and ha they don't have, have to match. You just go discount stores and you have them all around. This is what I did. And they just look really nice because I love candles. It's such a touch of elegance at a wedding. Oh, it is. Now, and did you put uh, f silk flowers or real I flowers in I put silk yours? on this, mm -hmm. but um, for my wedding, I actually used real, real flowers, flowers sure. and I put it in because it just it looks really pretty and then you tie a, a pretty bow on there that's and gorgeous and and how much did you save by doing this candelabra versus a whole floral arrangement a lot a whole floral arrangement that's is going to cost you like $50 yeah, at least especially something this size and this you can get for probably like 6 bucks at Marshalls Great or something you know idea. now these i like to do for the, the bride or the groom can make this for okay so we got some little decorative boxes yeah these are pretty oh actually oh my goodness a little t tuxedo and bridal yeah. uh, gown on them mm -hmm. it's adorable and you can uh, give these at your rehearsal dinner as well and these are pretty you just cut out the shape and you put it on this one is really pretty you can actually do this for your bridesmaids as well do the color of your bridesmaid dress and then do the tool and it's just kind of a conversation piece and inside and whatever you give them yeah. for their little gift yeah, perfect really pretty. you can do bigger boxes smaller and then it's a keepsake for I them know, too it's Very cute. I, lo I love permanent boxes now this right here rather than pelting people with bird seed I like to use you know what I'm saying yeah. <laughs> I like to use uh, petals and you can get them from your florist and what I like to do is I use these little cupcake cups Hmm. I just did this and I painted them. See how I painted oh, these? Oh, is that what you used? Oh, that, and that's I double, great. I doubled them and I painted them and I decorated them and I just kind of offset it. And it just looks kind of pretty. So when the bride and groom leave, they can just pick them up and they have this little cup. And they might actually want to keep these because they're cute. Uh -huh. so you wouldn't want to make cupcakes mm -hmm. in them afterwards, though. Mm -hmm. just, <laughs> but, you know, they look kind of cute. And maybe as the girl, little flower girl's going down the altar, uh, the she aisle, have, she can also yeah, she have can those have that as, as well. well. Okay. Now, the other thing I like to do is a really nice addition to the table is gold leaves. This is especially nice if you have a fall wedding. I like these because they look like hearts, you know. So I just found these at a craft store. I just picked this up. I just cut them off and spray painted them gold. And you can do this like way before your wedding. Now, or you can have your florist do lemon leaves. Those work out really nice. But I like to use these silk ones because people can take them home and have a little keepsake of like this and one of these mm -hmm. bags. And doesn't that dress up the table, especially since you're going with the gold theme over here. Yeah. The gold leaves work really well. Like okay, now. moving over here. I like to use another thing that would be really good as a favor is frames that are place seatings, but they're also what you can do is you can have your photographer take a picture of everyone at the wedding and then send that size picture in a thank you card so they can put it in that frame. So that's like a nice touch. This is great. And then the other did thing. You, did you do the frames? No, I bought, bought this. Frames. Very inexpensive. Mm -hmm. Very inexpensive. These, I like to, this right here is just a basket I created, which is, I call it an amenities basket because the happier your guests, the more fun they're going to have at the wedding. So I put these in the bathroom and things that you think your guests might like, hairspray, hand lotion, whatever, put it in there. And then they go in and they're like, wow, this is fancy. Even if you don't have a really fancy place, the amenities basket makes it feel fancy. Doesn't it feel like yeah. a, almost a spa like yeah. or a hotel sort of yeah, atmosphere? It does. That's a great idea. I like that. Something that smells good too. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Okay, and then the picture of you and your husband. I know, we did that. Well, 14 years ago, yes. Gina Tepper was married, and here's, <laughs> and she looks the same yeah. today. Look at that. <laughs> a little blonder. A little blonder. But what you can do with this is take a piece, take their wedding invitation. I, what I did is I cut this out, take a picture from their wedding, and you can make a little scrapbook. Even if you're not a scrapbooker, I mean, this is just something simple, and you can send it to them as, as part of their gift. And that's a nice touch because then they can frame it or they can put it in a scrapbook because they may not have time to do it themselves or think right. to do it. So that's just a nice thing to who do. Wouldn't, who would, uh, people would love to keep something yeah, like so that. It's yeah, and it's ready to go, as you yeah. say. Just and you can even there. take these leaves if you pick up some of these and you can put mm -hmm. those on there. Gorgeous. Pieces of the wedding. So many great ideas, and we haven't spent a fortune have we? No, and it just and it really makes very a nice elegant. Way. Thanks Looks, for showing us, thanks Gina. Thanks a lot. All right, we have lots more coming up here on Let's Talk Live. Don't go away.